The Horizon 42Q from Winnebago. Based upon a Freightliner drop rail chassis, when you go to the 42Q, it picks up the side radiator. This one has the standard exterior graphics. There's also four modern graphics. Dual glaze windows, standard. Aqua hot, standard. You can see the optional undercarriage lighting, which is actually controlled by an app you put on your phone. Slide in, slide out tray goes equally out both sides. As we're coming around the front of the motorhome, it has a 10,000 watt Onan diesel generator. Independent front suspension gives you a 60 degree wheel cut. <clears throat> Dual fuel fill. Distinctive styling of, of the Horizon. It's really eye-catching. Again, you have four of these standard exteriors. You also have four of the modern exteriors available. Looking on the activity side of the coach. We'll go up and in. There's some backlighting here in the Corian Stepwell area. Oversized passenger seat, power adjustable driver's seat. The driver's seat is actually, you have a little bit more leg room in the Horizon than what you've had in the past. Just taking a look at the interior on this motorhome. This is the briar wood with high gloss gunmetal. TV goes up and down at the touch of a button. You have the fireplace, which not only gives you a nice look as far as aesthetics, but also provides heat. MCD day-night shades, our glide and dine table, which moves left to right. The L-shaped sofa in here has an oversized pullout, so it actually gives you a little bit more room. One of the few options on the motorhome is the dishwasher, which is hidden very well by the wood panels on the front. Very convenient, right next to the sink. You can see the two sink covers. The induction cooktop, tremendous amount of storage space on the inside when you start adding up all of the galley cabinets. Little area in the corner back here. The little shelf area even flips up. The microwave hides away. Simply open these doors and they slide into place if you need to use the convection microwave. Plugs conveniently located in the galley area. The half bath in the center. The large residential refrigerator. Just to the left of the large residential refrigerator is the pantry, which has the pull-out baskets. Just makes it easier to, to get all of your items out of there, as well as some drawers down below. Take a look in the master bedroom. You have the side sliding closet doors. TV and sound bar, but also some open counter space in the bedroom area so you can set stuff down at nighttime. Hanging on either side of the TV. These are the extra chairs that go to the front. You'd probably normally carry those somewhere else other than in the closet. The high gloss doors mixed with the mixed with the briar wood gives it a very distinctive look. Again, taking a look at the TV with the sound bar, backlighting bank of drawers in the center, and again some open counter space just to set items as well as plugs. You could easily plug in, charge a cell phone. Barn style sliding door over the rear bathroom. Come up and in. 
washer dryer is all the way in the far back corner. Conveniently stashed behind these drawers. That is an option. If for some reason someone chose not to option in a washer dryer, this is just another large storage area. The lavy sink for the rear bath. Again, plugs very convenient. Molded shower, also backlit. has a built-in step or small seat in the corner of it. This one was equipped with the king size air adjustable bed. You have another sliding door to block off the bedroom of the motorhome. Then you have that you're going to have the half bathroom in the middle. Again, you have three different choices on the wood as well as three different fabric choices on this coach as you will have in all the horizons. This is the central monitor panel where you can control all the functions of the motorhome. A quick look inside the half bath here. And then last we'll take one more quick look at the horizon. 42Q built by Winnebago Industries.